as one man's fall brought condemnation on everyone, so the good act of one man brings everyone life and makes them justified. As by one man's disobedience, many were made sinners, so by one man's obedience, many will be made righteous. This is the word of the Lord. be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to Christ our Savior. Jesus was led by the Spirit out into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. He fasted for forty days and forty nights, after which he was very hungry. And the tempter came and said to him, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to turn into loaves. But he replied, Scripture says, Man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. The devil then took him to the holy city and made him stand on the parapet of the temple. If you are the Son of God, he said, throw yourself down, for Scripture says, he will put you in his angel's charge, and they will support you on their hands, in case you hurt your foot against a stone. Jesus said to him, Scripture also says, you must not put the Lord your God to the test. Next, taking him to a very high mountain, the devil showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor. I will give you all these, he said, if you fall at my feet and worship me. Then Jesus replied, Be off, Satan, for Scripture says, You must worship the Lord your God and serve him alone. Then the devil left him, and angels appeared and looked after him. This is the Gospel of Christ. Praise Christ our Lord. Only the best is good enough for the best things that God has made, you and me, made in God's image. Today, as we begin Lent together, we are able to be with Jesus, as he, just after his baptism, begins his struggle. He is God's best gift to us, not just a messenger or a good example, but his own son. This is my son, my beloved. Listen to him. He hasn't come to struggle for his own advantage or his comfort or fulfillment, he has come among us to seek our advantage and our fullness of life. And as we look at Jesus in the desert, we see the first skirmish in this battle, not for his soul only, but for all of ours. Jesus in the desert gives us an example and a first taste of his victory over sin and death. His example comes in the way he meets all Satan's temptations, all those second best things which he is so keen to give. He wants to give them to us so that we will become his servants. 
Bread alone, not enough. Wonderful God-created people like us need to live on God's word too. And Jesus meets each temptation with the scriptures. He gives us this example to fight with the same weapon that he used. So in this Lent, we read, mark, learn, and inwardly digest God's word so that we can strengthen our faith and our prayer and our whole life. And Jesus' replies worked. He was tempted, but he never sinned, and the devil left him. This battle for Jesus goes on for three more years, though. Jesus casting out devils, healing, preaching, until at last on the cross it looked as if Jesus was defeated. But this moment proves to be his final and once for all victory. And as St Paul said in that first reading, the good act of one man brings every one life and makes them justified. Jesus, overcoming these temptations to the same things that we are tempted with, is a first taste of his final victory. It fills us with hope and determination as we now go through Lent towards his cross. When you are tempted with the second best, reject it. You are all made for God's love, to feed on his word and sacraments. Jesus is God's free gift to us all. Ask for Jesus, because nothing else is good enough. Amen. So let us profess our faith in the words of the Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate of the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Almighty God, you promised through your Son, Jesus Christ, to hear us when we pray. In faith, we place into your hands your war-torn world, praying for all the innocent victims of war, terrorism, and all forms of violence in Bosnia, Northern Ireland, and in this country. For the starving and the homeless, especially those in Somalia, we pray for all those working for peace and for relief agencies. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. In this country, we pray for the unemployed and those under threat of redundancy. May our government work for justice and peace, and may all people respect each other and do what is right. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Father, we thank you for the fellowship of all Christians in your Son, and we pray for all local churches, and particularly all taking part in the Radio Stoke Lent course. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We thank you for the love and support of families and friends. May we show and share Christ's love 
by helping one another. Lord, in your mercy. We name in your presence those we know who are sick and under stress. For any who are known to us personally. And we pray for our local hospitals and nursing and residential homes. Give courage and hope where there is fear or despair. Lord, in your mercy. We remember and pray for the departed, especially those from our own families and our friends. May we, with them, have a share in your everlasting kingdom. Lord, in your mercy. We, we rejoice, rejoice in, in the, the fellowship of St. Andrew and all the saints, and join our prayers with theirs. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Christ is our peace. He has reconciled us to God in one body by the cross. We meet in his name and share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also we greet each other with a sign of his peace. my sisters and brothers that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Lord make us worthy to bring you these gifts. May this sacrifice help to change our lives. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, all powerful and ever living God. We do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. His fast of 40 days makes this a holy season of self-denial. By rejecting the devil's temptations, he has taught us to rid ourselves of the hidden corruption of evil and so to share his paschal mystery in purity of heart until we come to its fulfillment in the promised land of heaven. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and singing.
Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, that your gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who, in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. So, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of all, rejoicing at his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. We thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. We bring before you this bread and this cup. We pray you to accept this our duty and service, a spiritual sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup so that we, in the company of all your saints, may praise and glorify you forever through him from whom all good things come, Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Saviour gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper.
Let us pray. Father, you increase our faith and hope. You deepen our love in this communion. Help us to live by your words and to seek Christ, our bread of life, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. May God make you know his power to change and work in your lives this Lent. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit rest upon you and remain with you this day and evermore. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Amen. Thanks be to God. Praise of God this morning came from St Andrew's Church in Port Hill. The service was led by Father David Hartley. Next week at half past nine on Radio Stoke, the Stafford Salvation Army will be in praise of God. Well, a very good morning to Chris and I this morning. It's a bit snowy for you too. Just a little yeah. bit. Got your winter woolies on. We're going to stay firmly in the studio today where it's warm. Elsa's got her fleecy drawers on, ready to go.